Welcome to DOS Geek. Look at this beautiful kit we have here. This is the Intel Nook 8i7 HVK. Those of my patrons have been waiting for this video. Here it is. Look at all them ports. Look at the two Thunderbolt 3 ports back there. Look at all the USB ports, HDMI, optical. Look at it. Look at it. Now respect it. Now that's called having ports on a device, on a mini machine here. You've got more ports on the front. You have an SD card reader. You have more USB ports. You have another HDMI jack. You even have a Freedom headphone jack. You've got six screws to get into this thing. And they give you the Allen wrench. They want you to get inside and play. This is what I talk about with repairability. This is how it's done. This is what consumers should demand. You got one more screw, Phillips screw to remove right there. And that's it. You are now able to move this plate over and look at that. That's the skull LED there, which you'll see more of later. And there's your little power cable, which I suggest you remove. You can just pull it out, but I didn't because apparently I was just in rookie hour here. And instead I decided, well, I'll just flip it down. But then of course I get excited to show all of you inside and yank the thing up. We've got our two M2 NVMe drives. One of those, a Sabre at one terabyte. You can raid your NVMe drives together here. You can see the CPU is mounted upside down. We've got our two RAM slots there so we can upgrade the RAM from 16 gigabytes because who wants 16 gigabytes of RAM when we can have 32 gigabytes of RAM, which is what we really need. Let's get in here and do our upgrade. We're just going to pop by moving the clips to the side. Couldn't be any easier. No special glue dissolvers or anything else needed here. It just slides right out at an angle. See how I'm removing it slightly at an angle. And there's what we're replacing it with a 32 gigabyte memory kit by HyperX. And they recommend the 2400. I tried a 2600 kit just to see, just to try to see if it would work. Some people are saying they get it to work on forums. I don't know if they're lying or what, but I tried two different kits. Neither worked. Tried these 2400, worked immediately. So that's what they recommend on the site. That's what I used here. And it worked out amazing. And then you got to just take a moment and respect that Sabrent rocket drive right there because that baby's so fast. And if you want to replace those, by the way, it's one screw and it pops up just like the RAM. You just remove that screw, it pops up, you slide it out, put your new drives in and you're done. That's how easy they've made this. And I just love this little nook. It is such a powerhouse of a device. I'm editing this video on it right now. That's that little screw I was telling you about that I didn't film. So now you can see a little Phillips head. You just put it right back in there. That kind of holds the LED down in place or the plate next to the LED down in place. And you've got your little cable here you can tuck in. You put your cover back on and you're gonna put your six screws in and you're gonna take the little Allen wrench they provide you and put it back together. They want you to get in. There's no special nail polish around the screws to see if you got into it or not. They expect you to get into it. That's what they want you to do. Now, how fast is this little device? Well, I think you're gonna be blown away by some of the specs. So what we did is we loaded up some Manjaro on here because you gotta run with some Manjaro when you've got a nook like this. And then we ran Tomb Raider as our benchmark because this little device with 32 gigabytes of RAM, this i7-8809G also has a Vega M GPU inside of it. So it's quite capable graphically. In fact, some of these benchmarks you're gonna see here are almost too good to be true, I feel like, but I'm the one running them, so they're not. It's fact. It's so good that I just, I'm gonna force you to sit here and watch the little camera go around, what is it, Laura, Laura Croft in Tomb Raider, because you're not gonna believe the score that pops up here. I mean, look at this, 128 is the minimum. The max is 243 and the average is 203 frames per second. Eat that console gamers, eat that. And look at the temperature here, 80 degrees. Now I want you to remember that number after we've run a benchmark and compare that to the Apple Mac mini, which got up to 111 in some of my thermals. But here you can see it. You see the max we had was 110. Here in this case, it was at 109.7 playing a game, which is insane difference. That's because on this, it has two blowers underneath. 
By the way, this channel, all of this awesome stuff that I get to show you is thanks to DigitalOcean and my patrons. Now, DigitalOcean provides the very best and simplest developer-friendly cloud platform. It's optimized to make managing scaling apps easy with Tutive ATI, multiple storage options, integrated firewalls, load balancers, and more. The great thing about this is they have one-click marketplace installs for things like Jitsi and Minecraft servers, WordPress sites, everything like that. You can get all this plus access to the world-class customer support for as little as $5 per month. But here's the thing. They're going to give you a $100 credit by just using this link. Go to do.co slash DLN. That lets them know we sent you there. You help support this channel and show your love for DigitalOcean. $100 credit to play with. And I think DigitalOcean for all of their sponsorship of the Destination Linux Network. The next video we're going to be doing here is gonna be adding this eGPU to this Nook. And guess what's inside in the comments down below? What video card am I running here? You can get a little glimpse of it in some of these scenes, but this turns this little Nook into an absolute beast, which is gonna be so much fun. Leave your comments below, let me know what you think. We've got some more videos coming your way on some awesome stuff out there. But most importantly, I need you, especially in this time, in this day and age, to get out there and fill your brains. Don't forget to subscribe! And thank you for watching this video.